Every holiday season, we always have some kind of generosity campaign that we host in our church. We've done many different things. A couple years ago, we did uh, Samaritan shoe boxes, and we sent pallets of shoe boxes to the Samaritan ministry. We've stood in front of Jewel Osco and rang a bell and filled, took money for food pantry. We've done back-to-school backpacks and coat drives for homeless shelters. We've, uh, once we went and found a school that was a low poverty income, and we went and filled their school assembly, complete with an indoor snowball fight, dance moves, like the gospel. It was just awesome. Last year, we took a list from all the local schools and we fulfilled presents for families that could not afford presents. We've gone around and hand-packed and hand-delivered holiday meals to people that could not afford it in our community. So we've always had some kind of generosity expression moment in our church. And I want to highlight this year what this one is going to be. This year, we're calling this generosity campaign, Us for them. Us for them. All the money that we're going to be taking and all the proceeds are going for them. It's us giving ourselves for them. And you're going to hear more about this in the next couple of weeks, but I, let me just read this to you. You know, this is Paul, and he was itinerating, he was a missionary, and he was going around starting all these churches, and the Philippians 4, he says this. He says, as you know, you Philippians were the only ones who gave me financial help when I first brought you the good news and then traveled on from Macedonia. No other church did this. Even, uh, even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent help more than once. I don't say this because I want a gift from you. Rather, I want you to receive a reward for your kindness. At the moment, I have all I need and more. I am generously supplied with the gifts you sent, Epaphroditus. They are a sweet-smelling sacrifice that is acceptable and pleasing to God. We're in this going to be starting a a generosity campaign called Us For Them, and I believe it is something that is above and beyond our obedient act of the tithe. It is a sweet-smelling and acceptable and a pleasing sacrifice to God. And so not everybody has to do this, but if you want to partner with our church, we have highlighted three different areas, some in our church body, which we'll talk about a little bit later, some in our local community, and some that will go beyond us even internationally. And our goal this holiday season in the, next, in the month of December is to raise $15,000 to support these three, three outreach ministries. I believe it's something in accordance with what God would want for our church. The staff and the council and myself have taken time to think and to pray over this. And we're going to take an offering on December 3rd called The Big Give. And our goal in that offering and the big give is that every single person in this church participate. So whether you come in with a dollar and with a prayer seed or you come in with much more as God would provide, we're all going to participate in that generosity moment. Amen? Amen. 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 So I'm excited about this. I want to tell you more about it. Um, but we do not because we have so many bathrooms we need to get to. So next week I'll express more, but on December 3rd, we're gonna to come together and do that. I believe it will be a sweet smelling sacrifice, acceptable and pleasing unto the Lord. Amen? Amen. Expressive church, amen?